Hey YouTube, um, this is my secret hideaway video um, right now. I'm at Joy's fifth birthday party at my grandmother's house and I'm hiding away in the bathroom making this video. Right now we're waiting for my grandmother um, to come in the kitchen so we can have the cake and presents time. So I thought I'd make a quick video while I wait. Um, I had my last pre-op appointment um, this week on Tuesday. Um, I had an hour-long meeting with the dietitian and an hour-long um, meeting with a registered nurse. Um, there were several other people in the meeting with me. Um, They're all having surgery in the next couple weeks as well. Um, it was very informative. One of the women, um, the RN I believe, has actually gone through ruin uh, gastric bypass. So she was speaking from experience, which actually was very um, helpful um, because she she really knew what to what to tell us, even some of the stuff that you know isn't really by the book. Um, she gave us some good advice. Um, I've been on the pre-op liquid diet now for seven, eight, almost ten days, um, and it's it's gotten better. Um, I think I've lost some weight, although the pounds haven't gone down a lot. I've only lost a couple pounds. Um, I really can see it in my face, and um, my rings are looser and everything. Um, I bought some of some of the pre-op. Um, not pre-op, some of the vitamins I need to take post-op, and I actually got some wrong stuff, I think. Um, I got chewable um, calcium supplements, but I guess I was supposed to get calcium citrate, not calcium carbonate. So, um, I don't know what to do. I already opened the package so I could try one just to see um, if I'd like it. and um, It was pretty good, but unfortunately I think it's the wrong thing. Um, also, I got a vitamin um, B12 supplement. Um, they said to get the kind to put under your tongue. Um, I got one that said liquid, but it's a liquid gel cap. Um, you can bite it open and get the liquid out. I can put it under my tongue, I guess, but um, I was wondering if any of you have some advice um, if I can eat these gel caps or not. I'm not really sure. But um, it was all I could find. I couldn't find a pure, um, just liquid form. Um, I got Flintstones multivitamins um, for the multivitamin that I'm going to be taking, which uh, can't go wrong with the Flintstones, I don't think. Um, let's see, what else have I got? My husband got me the Magic Bullet um, blender, so hopefully um, that'll be good. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I've I've seen it on TV and it looked like something I'd like. Um, I like the fact that it's small. I'm going to be having to use it every day for the single servings of the protein shake. Um, my husband also got me a Cuisinart um, kitchen scale with a nice glass top. It looks really, really nice. I'm sure that'll work well. Um, I have all my Christmas shopping done. I figured I had to get everything done um, before surgery. Um, so I'm pretty much all done with that. I did all my shopping online this year, which was great. I love shopping online because I can shop in my pajamas. Um, I wrapped some of the presents, but not all of them. I ran out of tape and Christmas wrapping paper. So um, hopefully I'll get some more wrapping done um, before my surgery on Thursday. Um, what else? I don't know how I'm going to get the toys down from the attic for the kids. Um, my husband's never really helped me with that. I usually, on Christmas Eve, I sneak up in the attic and I, uh, uh -oh. I get um, the toys down myself. So um, hopefully he's going to be on board to help me this year because uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it after surgery, being all sore and all that. Um, so um, today's Joy's birthday party. Tomorrow's her fifth birthday her fifth birthday, but um, we celebrated today with my family and tomorrow we're having a party at our house um, with my husband's family. So um, 
One other thing I wanted to ask you guys is if you have any advice on what to pack to bring to the hospital. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to wear my own nightgown um, or if I'll even really want to after having surgery. But I was thinking of packing a nightgown and reading material. Um, am I going to be well enough to read? Or am I going to just be too out of it? I'm an avid reader. I love to read rather than to watch TV. So, um, I don't know if I should really pack a book or two. What do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> um, also, I'll probably pack my camera, my little flip here, so I can make a video of how awful I look in the hospital. Um, my, my cell phone. I don't know. I don't know what else I need. So, uh, let me know. Alright, I will make another video soon. See ya.